It's 2021, end of October, or as I also call it, the beginning of winter. It's 42 degrees out right now. I wasn't here last night, but it certainly got below freezing. Proof by the uh, buckets that have been left outside that have water in them. Those are iced over. They are iced over currently. Um, so winter is coming quickly. I need to finish up some of my outdoor projects before the snow starts adding up, which I usually have until the beginning of December before the snow comes and stays. Uh, obviously no snow right now, but it's it's gonna happen real soon. It'll snow at night and then it'll melt during the day. So you can see behind me, I got most of the rafters up on the shed. I have all the T111 uh, plywood walls. Those are back in the forest. I need to transport them up, get those nailed on. Shouldn't be too difficult, just time. And then finish the roof. Right now there's just a tarp on there you know, to get me through if it rains. Of course, don't think that's gonna happen today, but there was plenty of rain last weekend when we got that tarp up there. So last weekend, I say we, because my uh, brother Zach and cousin Mikey were up here, and uh, yeah, we got that tarp up there in case we needed to be in there. They also helped me carry a lot of uh, logs over there that need to get split for firewood. Some of those are really big and I didn't want to lift them, so they took care of that. And it's greatly appreciated. So I don't know if I'll do that this weekend. There's nothing keeping me from splitting wood if there's snow on the ground, but this stuff, I want to get a bunch of things into the shed before there's snow. Um, and then also want to get as much done on the roof, roof of the cabin. Let's twist, twist the camera. So that's almost done. This side is almost done. More work on the other side, but if I can get that totally covered, which should not be an issue, get that totally covered before it snows. That'd be pretty great. Walk over to that pile of firewood. Stuff was sitting back there, way back, that way, for two years. So it has to get split, it has to get used or it'll rot. That'll be more than enough to fill my woodshed over there. And of course, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I have an apartment in Burlington, so I don't need quite as much firewood as last year because I won't be here 100% of the time. Makes things a little easier. I do not get sick of having the four wheeler up here and a couple different trailers to go with it. So single trip, I got 10 sheets of uh, T111 up here. I got one sheet of sheathing for the roof, you know, T111 for the siding, of course. Um, only had to move it about a quarter mile, but when you're carrying them by hand, as I did originally, when I built the cabin, a uh, quarter mile takes up a lot of time. This would take me all weekend. So, uh, I'm gonna get those going. Get to work on that and screw them in. You may remember my good friend and helper, John. Made sure that John is level right there and he's gonna help hold up the sheet of T111 as I secure it. Very much appreciate him, uh, you know, sticking around, helping out. Makes things easy. So this T-111 that I'm putting up for the most part, I'm doing screws around the perimeter, and then I'm gonna do nails in the field. Biggest reason for that is I learned over the years that, um, you know, the wood warps, and, well, in fact, this is even starting out warped. So nails uh, would be popping out. If not immediately, they'd be popping out after a few years. So putting screws in, at least for the perimeter, 
means it should hold it pretty firm. If the nails start popping out in the field in three years, I'll come back and address that, really. No big deal. Uh, so I gotta get my next sheet cut, and then I'll, uh, with John's help once again, get that up there. Back to work. So measure this and cut it for the back. It'll be easy because it'll just be a straight cut. Not like I had to deal with the slope of the roof on the side. work. It's getting dark, but got plenty done. Got six boards up, six sheets of uh, the T111 siding. Looking good on the inside. Let's see if we can get a better view. There we go. I think that'll wrap it up for outdoor work for today. About six o'clock right now. I brought a 16 ounce steak with me, so I'm gonna cook that. Got the steak all seasoned up. Throw it on there, a couple minutes each side. So I like my steak rare. Anyone who doesn't, I don't understand that. I want it to still be that color in the middle when I'm eating it. Booyah! Not bad, not bad at all. Feel I've earned this today. It's a new, beautiful, sunny day. Time to get back to work. I'm having more visitors up here next weekend. My sister Emily and her husband Tyler are, are stopping by. Uh, Tyler, AKA Uncle Ty Ty, if you're niece Kelly, and, or if you're my dad, his name is Who. Uh, so Emily and Who are coming and not that they care, but I want to get as much done as I can before that happens. So I've accumulated quite a few extra pieces, uh, scraps of OSB and plywood. And I'm using what I can of that. I'm using that for the roof here. Otherwise, it's just going to sit where it's been for years under the cabin being worthless.
I know it's not visible from that angle, but I have some two by four screwed into the roof back here. It's not terribly steep of a roof, four on 12 slope, but nonetheless, I've got the two by fours there screwed in, and that's what I'm resting my, resting my feet on. So even if I were to somehow start slipping, I'm not gonna go far. Still more to go, but that's gonna wrap up construction for now. Made some progress on the roof. And put one of the windows in. There we go. I'm gonna put a tarp on there so that it stays dry and I can start throwing stuff in there. <laughs> 